Hello Cray people, Tazakaz GFX here and I'm basically doing that background uh, tutorial that I was going to do. Sorry for the background noise and me talking a bit too loud but I need to so you can hear me clearly. So first of all I'm going to set it as this is what you're basically making this background here. It may look a bit different but this is this. I, I'm telling you, this is cool. Uh, you can color the background if you want. I'll show you that uh, at the end of the video. Uh, so I'm going to be using the red, the width and height of one nine, one thousand nine hundred twenty and ten eighty. There we go. Resolution seventy two. Make sure your color mode isn't on grayscale. Just make sure that, otherwise you can't color it at all. So click OK. Double click that. Don't need that. New layer. Alt delete. Alt zero. Filter. Uh, you're wondering why I'm rushing. I kind of have recorded this video twice already and it's failed. It didn't record for some reason. Is it recording? Yes, it is. Yes, and yes, I'm using OBS. Because Fraps is screwing up. Uh, so, on with the video. <laughs> that was a pointless thing to say. Uh, add noise. 145. Gaussian monochromatic. Matic, mo monochromatic. <laughs> oh my god, words. Why? Why are you so complex? Uh, then you just have to blur it. Point. Oh. Uh, 0 0.5. Control L for levels. 200. And point forty two. Okay. Go to channels, green. Next one. Control delete. Right in that to the hell. Uh, new layer. Filter. Make sure these two colours are black and white. To do that easily, just click D. Uh, oh yeah, D on your keyboard. Now blur, um, box blur. What? Oh, wrong layer. Blur, box blur, sixteen. Don't worry about the color change. They'll come later. Later. This one render clouds. You need to copy that about three times. Set this one to 10%. Then put these two on color dodge. Voila! You just created that background. You, you're not finished yet, by the way. Uh, you need to find a texture. I'm going to be using this one. You need to see that. Just search it up on Google Images. Uh, use the Ellipse Mono Core. Ma Marquee Tool. I'm special. Can't freaking say words. <laughs> uh, shift click. Make it. You make the. Or if you're wondering what I'm basically doing now, I'm making a planet. Control J. Turn that off. Control click. Uh, distort, sphere rise, 100%, mode normal, click OK. Put, uh, put that in. No! Cancel. Don't crop. Put that down in this corner. You can make the planet as big as you want, it's, uh, it's your preference. But I like, I'm making it 
about that big. Uh, control, control J. Use these effects to give it that glow, and this color will in this bright color range. And outer glow, same thing, copy the settings, and in that color range as well. You don't have to choose the same colors. Uh, click OK, Control, click that, Alt, oh, Delete. Keep it selected and click that that basically made a mask of it of the layer now go back to here filter blur gaussian um 15.5 it's this is all preference as well if you can see that that's just we're making a shadow effect effect for the planet even though we don't actually need it, well, we do need it, but you won't really see it in the background when we make it. So, unclick that. Uh, put it in a section that you want it. Change the opacity to 90. Um, what else? Oh yeah, Rupert, Re, see this keychain here? You need to do that to make this a shadow, yeah, have to unclick it to make the shadow effect, but relink it if you want to move the planet around, if you can see that. Uh, now put that underneath here, you get that effect. Why is it like that? Perfect spot, in my opinion, is here. All just around here. Uh, now make a new layer. Alt delete. Filter. What was I doing with this layer? I don't know. Filter. Render. Lens flare. Make sure it's 150 millimeters prime and 100. 105 brightness. Okay. Um. <laughs> Click OK and make sure it's in the corner somewhere. Go linear dodge, filter, blur it, box blur it, 16. Click OK. Do that about um, four times or as much as you like it. You can see that we sh we faded the bulky, chunky uh, lens flare parts here. So let's get ready to run mode. I'm kidding. Control L for the levels again. Set that to 20. You want not 20? I don't know. It's not 20 though. That is for, that is way too bright. Put the brightness. You need to put the brightness up a bit. Give it a cool looking sun effect. Yeah. What the? That is weird. Six looked good. There we go. Click OK. Just do the prep. Just do it as uh, much to the way of your liking. Now with coloring, co coloring, just do that. Go soft light. 
grab a brush, grab the brush tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero on normal. Now get like a medium bright, medium to dark and bright color. So I'm going to be using a nice in-between color like that. Now I just want this on the stars. See? You can see that stars are getting colored. See, that's the entire layer. Ah, huh, that looks nice there. That's weird! Um, put it above the planets. Alright, stop it. doing? I don't know. Okay, that looks really, really weird. Like, really weird. That's creepy. So, with the bro- yeah. You can colour it any way you want, but I'm not, I, don't, I like it this way, so I'm not gonna colour it. So once you're done, once you're finished with it, Go um, save for web. This just saves it in the highest quality possible without being that large. So you can see that. Cancel that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you.